Welcome. So what I'd like to do is show you how to evaluate for the arctan of negative 1. And to do that again, I like to always write out what exactly that function is going to would represent. So therefore, that'd be the tangent of an angle theta is equal to negative 1. So what angle, when I take the tangent of it, is equal to negative 1? That's pretty much essentially what the arctan is asking us to find out. So we need to make sure, though, when taking the inverse tangent, though, our function is going to fall within the range of negative pi halves and positive pi halves. That means my angle has to be within the fourth quadrant or the first quadrant. So I look at the tangent. Remember, the tangent represents the y-coordinate over the x-coordinate. So I look at my coordinate points and see when would my, what are my only points when I take the y-coordinate over the x-coordinate, am I going to have a negative 1? Well, anything in the first quadrant is not going to work because those are all positive points. So I look at my fourth quadrant, and the only point that's going to equal negative 1 is when I have negative square root of 2 divided by 2 divide, divided by square root of 2 divided by 2. And this angle, we're not going to go in this positive direction because then that would fall outside the range. So we've got to make sure we take that negative version of the angle, which would be equal to a negative pi over 4. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you evaluate for the inverse tangent function. Thanks.